Thank you so much for considering joining us with Wild Ones Unite for Charity. It means the world to me. We have raised over $7,000 for more than six charities over the course of the last three and a half years. Together, we can make a bigger difference. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to join us right now. It's Timey, your rock and blue haired mermaid, and I'm here today to walk you through the steps on how to join Wild Ones Unite for Charity, the stream team. Uh, you are welcome to join and stream for any one of the six charities that Wild Ones Unite for Charity represent. You can stream one time, you can stream all the time for it. It's completely up to you. If you would like to be a member of the team, you're more than welcome to. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to become a team member. It really is very simple. And I'm gonna also show you the simple way to add in your alerts for the charity that you choose to represent or for all of them even. All right, so let's take a look at where the majority of the charities are located. We're going to find them over on Streamlabs for Charity. Here on Streamlabs for Charity, all you got to do is log in with whatever your Streamlabs account is. If you don't have one, be sure to create one. Even if you don't use Streamlabs to stream with and you use Stream Elements or OBS, you still need to have an account in order to sign up. From there, you're gonna look for the team. Charity is separated, even though the team is Wild Ones Unite for Charity. So just type in Wild Ones Unite, Wild Ones Unite, and pull up. There we go. On Wild Ones Unite for Charity, we have four different charities listed here. We've got Game Pink, which we are going to be doing a really big fundraiser from on May 7th for my birthday. Um, everybody's welcome to join. The more the merrier. Together we can make a bigger difference. So we've got Wild Ones Unite for Game Pink 2023. Wild Ones Unite for Suicide Prevention 2023. Wild Ones Unite for Able Gamers. And Wild Ones Unite for Paws and Stripe 2023. To join any of them, you literally just click join. That's it. And that will bring you in to a different scene. It'll bring you into, it'll be something similar to this is what you'll have. Now you've joined the campaigns. Let's say you joined Paws and Stripes. Now you're in Paws and Stripes. What you're going to want to do is you'll take a look. You see teams. It shows all of the teams that you're a part of donations it lists all of the donations that have been received we've got uh, media assets this is a scannable little picture that you can put on your stream if you want or you can put them in your panels on like on like twitch milestones you will create your own milestones i have um the pirate the make timey scream queen timey um and when people donate They'll go into different things, um, and you can put this on your stream by copying this code and putting it into a browser source. That's how you'll get the milestones on your screen stream if you want them there. Giveaways are listed here. Let's just say I went for Game Pink. I had a giveaway for a t-shirt. Minimum donation for the for the, to be entered into the t-shirt giveaway would be five dollars and the duration pick it hours 
one hour is good, and then you can either manually choose a winner or automatically choose a winner. Start the giveaway. Put it on your stream by copying and putting it into the browser source once again. Rewards are items such as timey getting being boozled, a digital album, naughty timey, custom digital. You can make your own rewards. You can create them by putting in your reward name. Put the description, put the minimum donation, put a picture in if you like. Quantity available if they're limited. If it needs to be shipped by mail, make sure you click that so that you get an address. Uh, it's only available for a limited time. Click that if it is. Save and add more. This will be on the stream, on the uh, campaign, so that people, when they donate, can choose if they want a reward. They'll choose it at that time. Um, thank you gives sometimes the charities offer fundraiser rewards and other like um, sometimes especially with like St. Jude you'll find there's Saint, some campaign rewards with St. Jude things like t-shirts and stuff like that some of the bigger charities do offer rewards and what I'm going to show you next oh and the donation goal bar you would want to click on that but you copy the code and you put the code into your stream once again using a browser source. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. When it comes to your alerts for Streamlabs charity, that is going to go through the Streamlabs alert box. The alert box for, for Streamlabs can be used in any other platform also, any other streaming device such as stream elements or stream um or obs and you're going to do it the same way you're going to copy the widget earl all right you're just going to copy it i'm not again i'm not doing anything other than copying it and now i'm going to take it and i'm going to place it inside of a stream element scene that i've created i'll show you that in just a second but when you're over here stream labs charity donations are one of the items that are in this alert box. You can choose to have just the Streamlabs charity donation alert on here or you can choose to use the other ones also on your stream even if you're using Stream Elements or OBS. By copying it you're copying whatever you turn on here so if you do not want like follow on you go to follows and you will shut it off. You'll disable it. You'll make sure to disable it here. Otherwise, you leave it enabled. Then, over on the Streamlabs Charity, you're going to want it on. And it will alert you to any of them, not just one. You can set up text-to-speech options. You can set up your alert, what um, media that you want to come up on the screen. Image, sounds how loud it is, the duration of it, um, the alert text delay, your font settings, variations. So if somebody donates more, if you want a different alert for, for a different amount, you can always put several different variations in. Then you save your settings, copy that link, and you bring it over here. This is stream elements. What I have is a scene that has nothing in it. The way I added the Streamlabs alert box was going to the source and I clicked on browser. Add a new browser source. The source is the Streamlabs alerts. Alert box. And now in here, I'm going to paste that link that was there quickly and refresh the browser when it becomes scene becomes active. You can also change it to control audio via OBS, but we've already handled the sound levels over within your um, alert box, so you don't need to do that unless you really want to. Then you might have to change some other sound settings, but we're going to focus just on the adding of the box. So now we have a box in here. Okay, so now I want to test my Streamlabs, right? Uh, I want to make sure it's functioning over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this smaller so we can see. I'm going to hit test charity donation. Now I am adjusting how loud that damn thing was. That was crazy loud. Oh my God. But you get the idea. It worked. Yay. <laughs> 
So that's how you add in your Streamlabs alert. And that's how you join the Streamlabs Charity Stream Team for Wild Ones Unite for Charity. Now we're going to go back because we also have Tiltify. Over here on Tiltify, we have Wild Ones Unite for St. Jude's 2023 Play Live. We also have um, Toys for Tots over here on Tiltify. Those are the two that are on Tiltify still. Everything else is on Streamlabs Charity, and I do it that way because Streamlabs Charity costs the charities zero dollars. One hundred percent that is raised goes to those charities. Um, there is a small fee over on Tiltify, but when the option is available, I take it. Okay, so here we are, and we are on Wild Ones Unite for St. Jude's 2023. All you're going to want to do is look for Wild Ones Unite for St. Jude's or Wild Ones Unite and see what comes up. You will find the team go down and you click support campaign and literally it signs you up that way. It's as simple as that. That is how you sign up. Within Tiltify, they have other options. You can either use a uh, Streamlabs alert box and just make sure that you have the charity set properly within it in order to use it using your Streamlabs alert box. Or you can here on the page you go behind the scenes a little bit to your dashboard then I go to the teams and then I go to wild ones unite for charity and then I go to campaigns and I'm going to St. Jude's and here in St. Jude's you get all of who's donated when um, you get milestones you get event totals you get how much has been raised so far the details now I I don't have this link to 2023 and you'll go into the details, you put in your information, your, your goal for however long you want it. If it's a one-time charity stream, what's your goal for it? If it's a year-long charity stream, what's your goal for it? Whatever way you go, whichever way you do it, put your goal in here. It's up to you what you want your goal to be. Keep, try and keep it realistic. I try and keep them lower because... Together we make a bigger difference, but it doesn't take a lot of money to make that difference. People can donate $10 a year and we can reach a thousand in no time. Um, these are the rewards that I've created. You can create your rewards. You have your targets. You have your polls. If you want polls, cause rewards. These are the rewards that come from the cause themselves, not from you. The milestones, you can create milestones. You can set up a schedule if you have a schedule. I stream every day for St. Jude and for all of the other charities. So I don't put a schedule in because I stream every day for them. Uh, this shows who's donated. These are the messages that are left for you from the community and from donors. This is the activity. If you connect your activity to, you can connect using any one of these things. So let's say you commit to running a mile for every dollar donated you can track it there overlays create an overlay blank slate add an overlay layout there we go we want to add in a alert click alert box we now have an alert box on a scene put it wherever you want change the information about it this is your alert box for tiltify for this particular goal you can add on a gif you can add on a sticker you can make a font colors you can do it however you want it make it perfect when you've completed creating your perfect alert you take it you copy that earl up in the corner and you put it into your streaming software as a browser source so that's that. That's how you join Wild One Janae for charity. That is how you set your stream up so you get your alerts. And that is how we, together, make the world a little more, more magical and together make a bigger difference. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you let me know that you've joined us. That way I can spread the word and let people know about it so that they can come and see you. See you soon.
Why won't you night? Why won't you night? <laughs> Let's do this thing.